Hey, what's happening guys? Coming at you from downforsoundshop.com. In this video, we're going to be doing Frequently Asked Questions, segment number 64. But first, all right, so you know how we do these. You ask the questions and we go through the comment sections and I try to answer them again. I don't know everything and sometimes I call on your help to help me answer some of these questions I do not know. However, we're going to start off with Bojo8102. This question is, uh, I've got an excess power D1200 under the hood. Can I run a D3400 in the trunk connected to the 1200? I'm looking at the XP series of supplemental as well. Just don't want to mess anything up with the electrical. Uh, to answer your question, yes, you can do that with no problems. So moving on to the next question is Myron Brown 5472. He says, I have two DC level 618s with a custom box built to 36 hertz for inverted subs with two excess power batteries 400 amp alternator with a big three what amp should i use for the subs uh, i would personally use a dc 9k or dc 10k or a uh, jp 83 so that's going to be my uh, three suggestions there depending on what price point you want to be at for uh, your amplifier to power those and if you want it to match up next we have Sebastian Schiffer 7911 it says what would you pair with two JLW6 subs I have 1200 for both I looked up the subs I wasn't really familiar with those but I looked those up and it said they're rated at 600 watts RMS from what I could see so uh, I usually like to do a little bit over the RMS rating on subwoofers so I would probably and I also don't know what ohm load they are so um, I think you would be wired at higher than one ohm. So I would personally go with like a JP23 uh, because of the ohm load is going to be a little high. It'll give you a little bit of headroom on your power. I think it'd be a good match for those two subs. So uh, JP23s are currently, uh, the version 1.5s are uh, 299 on the website. So a great amplifier for a great price. Up next we have Riley underscore 400. What is the most RMS you can run on stock electrical with the 130 amp alternator and what two 12s to pair with it? Um, this is kind of a loaded question, but I would say like around 1500 watts would probably be the max that I would recommend going with. Um, two 12s with a 1500 watt amp, you could do like a JP13 amplifier with two Sundown E-Series 12s it would be a great uh, matchup uh, at the RMS power, a little bit more than RMS power than they're rated at, but uh, it would be a great thing to keep somewhat of a stock electrical. I would recommend doing at least a big three on that to help out, uh, which is a very easy thing to do and it's very uh, budget friendly. It's only like $70 for the big three kit, something like that, so not very expensive. Uh, last but not least, we have Do It Right the First Time 8952. <laughs> I like that name. Uh, it says, what ohm sub do I need to strap two salt 2Ks together at two ohms? Um, and I see a, a person responded here, two ohm for DVC ran in series parallel configuration for a total of a two ohm load. So basically you're wanting each um, amplifier to see one ohm. If you had a final ohm load of one ohm, you would be like strapped, you'd be at half ohm per amp and you don't want to do that to stress out the amplifier so you'd want to be um where like like you said two ohm for the subs and then when you strap them they would each be at one ohm and then you would have um you'd have a one ohm final load sorry kind of got confusing there but anyway so that's what you would want to do for those subwoofers all right that's going to conclude uh frequently asked questions segment number 64 Again, if you have any questions for me that you want me to answer, just drop them in the comments below. But if not, until next time, we'll see you later. What's happening, guys? If y'all enjoyed all the hot content that you saw in that video, be sure to follow me on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram under the Life of Price, and also Down for Sound Shop on Facebook and Instagram. And don't forget Snapchat. I'm JPD4S on there, so be sure to check me out there. We'll see you in the next one. Later.